What's up, Facebook world? It's your girl, Mindy C, coming at you on Sunday night. It's game day tonight. Yes, football has started. Yay, it gives us something to watch on TV. Something different, right? I love football season. I like fall. I would rather have warm weather, but I like fall too. But again, my name is Mindy. I am from Michigan. If you are live with me, drop me a one. You will see that red live button box right up there if you are live with me. If you don't see the red live button box, then you're just on replay and that's okay too. Say hi, hello, how are you doing? Hey Michelle, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Sunday night. So I'm making a game day snack. So I like to do a lot of snacks when I'm on this keto um, lifestyle. So quick grab stuff. So even because I don't like to cook big things every single day. So um, hey Becky, how are you doing? So super duper duper easy game day or if you're having a party or if you just want to have them in the refrigerator for yourself. That's totally cool. Um, no problem, Becky. No problem at all. So first you're going to need a bowl. You are going to need um, one block of softened cream cheese. Super duper easy. So whether you like, like to put it on the counter and let it sit out and get soft or you can put it in the microwave and get soft. Whatever you want. So super duper easy. Grab a bowl. Some softened cream cheese. You guys, everything's going in the bowl. Nothing needs to be cooked at all. This is so super duper easy. I've got about one cup of chopped peppers, and there's green peppers, red peppers, and onions. So you can use bell peppers, so you can vary whatever type. Just use a cup of vegetables. So onions and bell peppers for me. It was like in my freezer, so they're softer. But if you use fresh bell peppers, it's going to give you that crunch inside. You would dice them really small. Really, really small. Hey, Bev, how are you doing? Hey, Lucille. Hey, April. Nice to see you. So super duper easy. I'm making a quick, easy game day party, uh, game day snack, party snack, whatever um, you want it for snack. You need some softened cream cheese, one block. You need a cup of chopped up bell peppers. Um, whatever you like, orange, red, yellow, whatever ones you like. You like green peppers, you could do it with that too. Um, and I'm also going to put one cup of shredded cheddar cheese in there. Okay, so one cup of shredded cheddar is going in there. That's it, you guys. No cooking. It's super duper easy. Hey, Lucille, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Brooke, what's going on? Tonight, I'm making like a taco pinwheel. Super duper easy. So you're going to have cumin, paprika, chili powder, and some garlic salt. About a half, um, and you can taste it. So if you want more of something, you can put more. So about a half teaspoon of, of each of them. So you won't need much. Again, you can stir it up and you can taste it a little bit. And if you want a little more cumin, put a little more cumin in there. You want a little more paprika? Go ahead and put more paprika in there. Hey, Janet, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Sandy, nice to see you. Making up some quick Game day snacks. Um, they will need to refrigerate after you roll them up because you want that cream cheese to like kind of re-harden again. And then you're going to cut them. So I do have some in the refrigerator already. So we're going to do the first step and then we're going to show you the second step. So there we go. Garlic salt, cumin, paprika, chili powder, cream cheese, some vegetables, and some cheese. And... I have a little bit of bacon bits left over, so I am going to pour those in there also. I'm going to say there's a fourth cup there. That's all. So I'm going to throw some extra bacon bits that I had left over. So you can do that as well. Bacon is optional. And then we're just going to stir this up real good, you guys, and make it into all one nice gooey mixture that we are going to take our low-carb tortillas. So the one that I'm using tonight is Extreme Wellness by Olay, and this is a tomato basil. So this has four carbs for one tortilla. We are going to use four tortillas all together. So again, once the tortillas come out of the refrigerator, after they refrigerate, and if you do refrigerate longer than an hour, wrap them in something so um, the tortillas don't get hard. So make sure you wrap them up. If you're only going to keep them in there an hour, just put them in a plate in there, let them refrigerate for an hour, and then you're done. So super duper easy. Softened cream cheese, you guys. Some mixed vegetables. It looks like that doesn't look like much on 
in the bowl at all. Hey, Anya, how are you doing? Hey, Kate, what's going on? Hey, Missy, nice to see you. Again, you guys, I'm making a quick and easy, whatever you want to call it, snack. Um, game day snack, football snack, party snack. You can make these anytime. They're great to take to parties. And again, um, each batch is going to make um, four tortillas. And you're probably going to get at least 11 pinwheels out of each tortilla. So really, really super low in carbs because the, tor the whole tortilla has four. So if you cut it into 11 and divide 11 into four, it's going to be really, really low. So now what you're going to do with the mix, you're just going to kind of eyeball it and you're just going to make sure you got like enough for four tortillas. And all you're going to do is take your spatula and you're going to spread it around the complete circumference of the tortilla. So you're going to use about the eight inch tortilla. So don't get the great big ones. And if you are not keto, if you are not low carb, you can totally use regular tortillas. So this will work with regular tortillas. If you look like you need to fill in the blanks a little bit, just grab a little more with your spatula. But you want it to go to all of the edge of the circle, all the way around you guys. And, um, and again, just make sure you spread it out nice and evenly. And you see any spots that need a little bit more, just grab a little bit more. And then all you're gonna do is you're gonna roll it up. That simple. Super, super duper simple. And again, you guys, these gotta refrigerate because it is a little soft. The cream cheese mixture is a little soft, so you want it to harden back up. Thank you so much, Adrian. I appreciate that very, very much. So what's everybody doing? Who's watching football? I'm watching football for sure. Well, right now I'm not. Not right at this moment. I'm making some taco pinwheels. Uh, hey, Sean, how are you doing? Hey, Jackie. Hey, Denise. Happy Sunday. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So super duper easy one tonight, you guys. You just need a softened block of cream cheese, a cup of mixed chopped bell peppers. You want to throw some onions in there. You want to throw a little bit of... um fresh jalapenos in there, you can. You wanna throw a little bit of uh, green chilies in here, you can. So you can kinda make it your own mixture, cream cheese, a little bit of those spices, you guys, and that is it. Then roll them up and then we are going to cut them up. I got some in the refrigerator right now and I'm gonna pull those out right after I mix these ones up. And again, just eyeball your mixture. If you um, want even portions, then you can always weigh it out that way if you want, or you can just eyeball it just like I did. It's probably gonna be about close to three fourths, three fourths cup that's gonna go onto each tortilla, I, I would assume. That's, that's pretty close to what I think is the right thing to say. Um, so super duper easy. If you're just tuning in, you guys, Super duper easy. Just chop up some vegetables, get some cheddar cheese, get some seasonings, get some softened cream cheese, roll that around your tortilla, spread that around on your tortilla, refrigerate them for about an hour, and then, um, then you can cut them after that cream cheese hardens up. So there we go. That's about enough. And this is going to be all the rest of the mixture right there. So there you go. Super duper easy. Hey, Stacey, how are you doing? Hey, Susan. All right. Hey, Sherry, how are you doing? Nice to see you. All right. Super duper easy, you guys. Grab your low-carb tortillas. Again, these ones are called Extreme Wellness by Ole. O-L-E. Ole. And um, I buy La Banderita. I buy the Mission ones. Um, I just recently tried the Joseph Lavish bread. Um, so those are great alternatives to have, but not to, like I always say, don't eat them all of the time. Just eat them, you know, part of the time. So, you know, if two or three times in a week, if you have a wrap with these, you know, it's fine. You don't want to go overboard because they can stall you out. But for all the low carb people, go ahead. So there you go. So there you're just going to roll them up just like that. And they're going to go into the refrigerator, but I'm going to pull out the other ones. And we are going to cut these up with a knife. Let me grab a knife and I'm going to swap them out. So now they're nice and hard. So they're not going to, um, they're going to be easier for me to cut. So that's the trick. Put them in the refrigerator for at least an hour, you guys. And I'm going to put these ones back in the refrigerator. And those ones are going in. 
I will just have I will just have extras in the refrigerator. No big deal. You can have extras and you can take some to lunch. Now, like the first part is usually probably a dud, um, but then you just want to cut them um, just like that. You can cut them as thin as you want. Um, I'm going about probably a half inch on mine. I would say, and especially if you're having a party, because you know you want like appetizers, so you want little light snacks. So if you get, um, let me see, I'll count how many I got here. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got twelve out of one four carb tortilla. So again, you can slice them thicker if you want. If you're having a party, this is a great thing for a party dish because again, finger foods and um, a little goes a long way. You need four tortillas, you guys, and you can have a big old plate of snacks. And again, cut them the width that you want. So you can divide the, the carbs into the number, I would say about a half inch to an inch wide. And then you're gonna serve it with your favorite dipping sauce. So whatever that may be, you wanna put a little bit of salsa out there, you can put a little bit of salsa with it. You wanna put a little bit of, uh, um, what else? I've got, I'm using cilantro avocado by Marzetti. So this is a cilantro avocado dressing, so that's what I got as a dipper for mine. So again, great party snack, you guys. Hey, Luis, uh, where did I buy the bread? Uh, where did I buy this from? I think I got this at Meyer, Meyer in Michigan. So maybe Kroger's or Walmart might have this. I'm not really sure because I only shop at a couple different stores. So it's either, it's probably Meyer, probably Meyer for sure in Michigan. So you could always Google it, um, Ole, O-L-E, and then you can always Google it and it, it will tell you like, where it's sold also so you could do that if you don't have it by you or you can just grab any of your low carb tortillas that you find in your grocery store because any of them will work I just had these in the refrigerator and I wanted to use them up because I've had them quite a while so I just wanted to use them up so this is what I'm doing with my leftover well they're not leftover they were just in the refrigerator just have to use them up because I don't use them up very much. I don't use them very much. So I'm just doing this real fast. Let me get that. Woo! So if you're just tuning in, you guys, super duper easy snack. Grab some soft and cream cheese, a cup of vegetables chopped up, some cheese, some spices. I threw a little bit of bacon bits in there, so that's optional. So you can throw different things in there, too. You can throw in jalapenos or green chilies or whatever you want to have and again these are great and this is only four tortillas you guys that I did so four tortillas and I did four earlier so obviously but this snack plate right here is four tortillas so there you go there's your your snack day pinwheels and then you can set that right out on your table and so I got at least 10 pieces out of each so there's at least 40 pieces there so if you have six people then you know they can at least have five or six pieces and it's not that high in carbs either not that high so that's what i got for you tonight on a sunday night guys on game day snacks so again i'm mindy from michigan and that was one of my game day snacks i'm going to continue to watch some football today I think my best friend might be stopping over and visiting today, so that's going to be fun. And again, I use Extreme Wellness by Olay, tomato and basil, but any low-carb tortilla will work. Even the Joseph Lavish bread will work. So um, even regular, if, like I said, if you're not low-carb, regular tortillas will work for you too. This is this is um, great for for everybody. It's an all-around, all-around great dish. Hey, Don, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Hey, Mom. Um, they want to know where, oh, where did I get this cutting board? Let me get this off. Let me just throw this stuff away first. Where did I get my cutting board from? This I got from a garage sale. So I'm a, a garage sale girl. I love vintage things. 
So this cutting board was at a garage sale for $1. And I had it hanging up on my cupboard back there. And I never used it because I just liked it so much. But I started using it because it's a good cutting board. It's got, you know, it's all wood. and But yeah, $1 from a garage sale. So I don't know um, how old it is or who made it. There's no... There's no names on it or anything, but that's my Apple dollar cutting board from a garage sale that I had hanging up at least up there on the cupboard for at least over a year. Never used it, not once. So now I'm using it because I like it. <laughs> hey, April, how are you doing? So again, you guys, I'm Mindy from Michigan. I just made a quick pinwheel, taco pinwheel, and the ingredients are up above Everything goes in a bowl, mix it up, spread it out on your tortilla, and then you will refrigerate them for an hour or so, and then cut them into however many um, pieces you want, however, whatever thickness you want. And that is it. That's what I got for you. Um, I'll give you $2. <laughs> All right, John. All right. Uh, thank you so much. Yeah, I love grad sales. So I pick up all different things from grad sales. I don't have too many things up here, but, um, one of my favorite things is milk glass. So I don't know if you know, um, all, all my stuff. Oh, there we go. So milk glass. Milk glass is my favorite. So they have all different types of dishes in these and shakes and everything. So I collect these. And, um, so that's one of the things I get from grad sales as well. But yep, I love to go to garage sales and refurbish good items. But that's all I got for you guys today. So I'm going to go enjoy the game and enjoy these pinwheels. And I will talk to you soon. Have a great Sunday and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.